Wait, did you do anything? Did you have to do anything? Yeah, it's working. <gasps> Grad application complete. <laughs> in the zone. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm so scared of walking and talking in public. I can only do it when it's 1 a.m. Otherwise, it just looks like I'm doing a walking tour of Harvard. And why not? I feel like you guys would like that anyways. But, <gasps> bunnies! Can you see them? Hey guys, I haven't done this in so long. This is the Round Lab Acer. So it's been a while, I am back. <laughs> <laughs> back it's wednesday april 26th and today's the last day of classes that means that because i'm a senior it's my last day of college classes ever so i'm feeling like i have to document it well not have to but i want to like i definitely want to so here we are um show you guys my bare face these two concealers. Just wanted to chat very briefly about me having been gone, what that's meant and why, etc. etc. In case you didn't know, last time I uploaded was in August 2022 and it's April 2023, which means it's been like eight months. That was actually not intentional at all. I definitely meant to keep filming and, and posting and all that. But over the summer I got backed up with videos. So that's pretty typical. Then school started and I suddenly just was not in the mood. I just wasn't really feeling Feeling like going through the process of filming and thinking about oh what should I capture from this moment that would make for a good vlog footage it kind of just turned into a hiatus so then fast forward eight months and suddenly I was like whoa I haven't uploaded it eight months I graduate on May 25th which is really crazy because of that I was like okay well you know what why don't I just do it I've been relearning how to just pick up the camera and film and talk to it or at the very least, pick up the camera and film. I can talk about this all in another video, but I am still pre-med, so I took my MCAT in January. I liked my score, so that was good. I didn't film any of that, I'm so sorry. I just really wanted to focus on actually doing it because even though I know for sure it would have been really great vlog footage, for me personally, when I'm testing like that, I just need to get in the zone. So winter break was fully just me sitting at the same spot at my dining table like every day <laughs> also don't know why i put on so much concealer today i am nervous put the camera out you guys are making me nervous <laughs> i think there's also been this very existential awareness of the fact that this is the last time my life will ever look anything like this in terms of fully immersive living on a university campus with such i don't want to diminish my own extracurriculars or commitments but with such honestly low stakes concerns in my day-to-day -day life obviously that's such a simplification i did have to worry about those things but you know college is such a unique time compared to what it will actually be like post-grad 
So I'm aware of that and I've been thinking about that a lot, of course, as any terrified senior does. <laughs> and also because we just had our admitted students day for the class of 2027. I'm the class of 2023. I'm so happy for them and excited for them, but obviously it's a reminder of how much time has flown for me. Who knows what will happen post-grad, but I'm thinking about it a lot. Mini catch up aside, looking ahead. Like I said, today is my last day of classes, which is so insane. I only have one class, and then I think my friends and I are gonna go out later, which is super cute. We're gonna try to go to a little arcade bar. I am 21 now. I did not film my 21st birthday. I didn't do anything crazy. I literally just went to a rooftop bar near campus and went out for sushi with my roommates and then had a very mini birthday party with my friends in my dorm. I didn't do anything crazy, so it was really sweet. But that was back in September and it's April now. So yeah, I'm 21, we're going out to a speakeasy bar to celebrate the last day of classes because most of us are seniors. And then after that, I have to really work on my 15 page paper that's due Sunday. And then um, I have a group project that's like three pages. And then I'm done. And then I'm really just working on like med school applications and winding down and all that. And then after that, I'll be here for literally a month because you graduate in May, end of May, and it's end of April. Very crazy. Wow, well, now that I've taken it out, I kind of just want to keep talking to you guys. I hope you guys have been well. I mean, eight months is like, dang, I could have had a baby in that time. Speaking of, one of the dining hall staff that I'm friends with had a baby. I'm so happy for her. I'm glad that they're both okay and healthy. Now at this point, I know I'm just rambling. <laughs> and it's especially weird because this is a chapter that you guys have all been very kindly invested in and I am aware of the fact that a pretty huge chapter was not documented and I am sorry if you guys feel like you missed out but I also do hope that you guys know that at the same time I was just trying to live in it, live in the moment. Maybe I'll regret it in a few years time when I look back and see no vlogs but I also hopefully will understand why I had no vlogs. Other updates. So I was present at the Korean Association. We had a huge culture show night, which is so fun. I updated about it a lot on my Instagram if you follow me there. It was the beginning of April, but that was so insanely fulfilling. scan across the wider stairs we've discovered a Christine in her natural habitat look at as she poses <laughs> Wow extend those arms that wingspan crazy she's so short bro <laughs> thank you for tuning in to this Harvard student spotting <laughs> <laughs> what a nice cooler! 
Yeah.